A great day, friends, and welcome to another edition of Auto Review with the Posse Ron de los Reyes. Honda cars have built a reputation of being a solid uh, vehicle manufacturer. Uh, through the years, they've had uh, that uh, impression or image of a comfortable performance vehicle. And the Honda HRV is simply one of them. And it's one also of our favorite uh, Honda. Uh, vehicles, the HRV or the High Recreational Vehicle HRV. We have actually test driven the 2022 HRV in the past. Once was in summer of 2022 in Tagaytay and also in Anilao, Mabini, Batangas. And in 2023, we brought this to the rugged roads of San Mateo in Rizal. Here are some of the highlights of those previous test drives and walk arounds. Welcome back to Auto Review. There are so many things to like about the Honda HRV. First and foremost is the Honda Sensing technology. I also like the space, which is comfortable uh, for at least five persons, and also the space at the back which is ideal for bringing stuff for camping and for long travels. Even in the past, yeah, I like the first generation Honda HRV because of its compact uh, design, of course its maneuverability, especially during a congested uh, traffic condition. But now you have a much improved HRV. Of course you see this uh, beautiful grille and uh, the Honda icon and it has uh, Daylight uh, running lights and also powerful uh, headlamps. Uh, and uh, you also have uh, some skirt uh, below the bumper and it adds to the sporty look of uh, the HRV. And over here, you, you have the turn signals and also for the hazards. And uh, the side mirrors of this vehicle automatically retract or open when you use your uh, remote key. And even if you don't use your remote key, all you have to do is uh, go away from the vehicle and it will just retract. Look at this. <laughs> Kahit yung kambing, ha? Na appreciate yung <laughs> on the HRV. Uh, you have this uh, beautiful wheels and uh, it has a higher ground clearance than the previous model of uh, the uh, HRV. I'm reminded of the new uh, BRV, which also has uh, this lining, very straight and black on the perimeter, and it goes all the way to the bumper. So this is a turbo uh, variant of uh, the HRB. Opening this is uh, easy. You see some uh, camping stuff uh, right here, and uh, this uh, vehicle is also flexible as. Uh, uh, flexible seating arrangement. Uh, of course, you can uh, fold down the, the rear seats and create more space for your cargo or uh, for your uh, baggage. In the past, uh, I think sometime last June, we had a group uh, test drive of the HRB uh, in Tagaytay and also in Anilao, uh, Batangas. All right, we're here at uh, Serendra at Bonifacio Global City in Taguig and uh, we're about to start the test drive of uh, the all-new Honda HRV. We're assigned to this white car and there are several units of uh, this uh, model in this uh, test drive and our destination first is Tagaytay and then we'll go to Anilao in Batangas. This is going to be exciting.
this gift to the consumer? It's mainly contribute to the safety for the driver and also the uh, all participants in the road, including the pedestrian. And uh, avoiding the uh, accident, a uh, customer can save the uh, cost for repair. And we negotiate the insurance company so that we already have a Honda insurance uh, special program. So it can be uh, some discount for the customer. Uh, basically, our target, target market for the old new HRB are the young professionals or who are just starting their family. And basically, they are uh, tech sab 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 and they are stylists. No? And these are the customers who would like to explore new discoveries. No? Like, like for instance, right now, no? we have conducted the test drive here in Anilao, Batangas. Coming from BGC to Tagaytay, no? we will be able to experience this uh, all new HRB. Uh, with city and winding road, no, and uh, I think uh, our media participants, no, were able to uh, experience basically how good, how dynamic the performance is, and how powerful the engine is, and basically uh, that's also one of the things that we would like to promote with this uh, all new HRB, the 1.5 CBT turbo. So it's powerful and yet it's uh, fuel efficient. Here's our car price watch for the Honda HRV. And if you enjoyed uh, watching or listening to us uh, doing this walk around of the Honda HRV, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Auto Review. The Philippines and also please tell your friends about it. We see each other every Saturday on TV 2.30 to 3 p.m. on People's Television Channel 4 and also on Facebook and YouTube and uh, Marami Salamat po. I would appreciate uh, your also sharing this with your friends and members of the family. Auto Review will be back. Stay with us. Hello there, my name is for Auto Review. We're here with the Susu Philippines Corporation to try out their D-Max and Mu X in Pampanga, Arlac, Pataan, and Zambales. Here we're driving to an optional course to try out their ADAS or Advanced Driver Assist System. And we are also passing through the Zacobre River to try out their off-road capability. And of course, to cruise on the highways. Join us as we go to this exciting adventure. This is the Philippines Corporation recently gave us a chance to take the D-Max and UX for a spin. The two-day media drive to Pampaga, Tarlac, Bataan, and Zambales highlighted the vehicle's Advanced Driver Assist System, or ADAS. From Manila, we first headed to New Park City Sports Complex in Capas, Tarlac. Here, we tested ADAS and a makeshift course spread around the 60 hectare compound. We are here right now in Tarak to put the test Isuzu's Advanced Driver Assist System, or the ADAS. Our media and the influencer group will be driving the new Isuzu D-Max and the Isuzu Mu-X 
ear control facility, highlighting feature like the forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring, which are features that are relevant to daily drive of Filipino families, ensuring the safety of their occupants and the people around them. From the aquatic center wherein we were first briefed about the activities, we then drove several hundred of meters, going to an absolute course right beside the Atlantic Stadium. We were tasked to maneuver around chicanes, doing slaloms and 360 degree turns at 30 to 40 kilometers per hour speeds before driving toward a specialized barrier head on. Good thing the vehicle managed to stop on its own, but not without a big sigh of relief right after. The objective was to feature how the forward collision warning or FTW and autonomous emergency braking or AEB systems would activate in such situations. Next, Adaptive cruise control was featured by having it activated using the buttons on the steering wheel. With another vehicle running in front of us at 30 to 60 km per hour cruising speeds, our D-Max on its own adjusted according to the vehicle's pace. I didn't have to press on the gas or even the brake. It just did it on its own. Lastly, the blind spot monitoring or BSM system was featured by having another vehicle trailing us. It showed that when the vehicle was on our right side, the icon on the right side mirror also lighted up, alerting the driver. The same went on when the vehicle was on the other side. The Isuzu Advanced Driver Assist System, or ADAS, is different from its competitors as it uses the smart dual-cam technology. While other brands are using mono camera, we offer not just one, but two 3D cameras that are constantly mapping the surrounding area, measuring the distance of the vehicle to every obstacle on the road. It's like using a binocular compared to a telescope, giving you a wider depth of field. Which is why these models are rated 5-star in the ASEAN NCAP testing. After the brief activities in Tarlac, we then proceeded to the off-road jungles of Pampanga. The fleet was able to traverse the Sokobi rivers, volcanic sand and ash, muddy waters and debris with ease. Here, we were able to test the prowess of the Ford VJ3 TCX Blue Power Engine and the vehicle's off-road capabilities. Going on weekend adventure or short time drive like this is the kind of lifestyle that Isuzu wants to promote with these new models. We have upgraded its looks to a new premium styling while keeping its core value of Isuzu durability and fuel efficiency and now its 5 star safety. We think it's a total package that the family can really enjoy for a very long time. After the whole day of the activities, we then kept the night in Asaya Hotel in Subic, Zambales.
the next day, we woke up to a bright, sunny day. We then cruised to former President Ramon Magdaysay's Heritage House in Casa San Miguel, all in Zambales, where we enjoyed short and relaxing historic and art tours. In all, IPC and the organizers were able to prove that our local roads can be safe using their vehicles can be one clear example. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our short adventure with the Suzuki Philippines Corporation with their newest D-Max and Muex. Again, I'm Rodriguez Reyes for Auto Review. GAC Motor Philippines hosted the grand launch of the all-new GS3M Zoom at the Blue Leaf Cosmopolitan in Quezon City. According to GAC Motors brand head Jun Kahayon, the GS3M Zoom is said to be the newest challenger in the scene with its fierce and sporty character. This new generation GS3 is a game changer. With the price point, you get so much value for the money. Aside from the engine and the transmission technology, what you see here is the new face of GAC. This is basically uh, the front wing styling, the body kit, the 18-inch rims for the GS and GP variant. It's the new player in the subcompact crossover segment, but feature for feature, it provides you value for money one segment higher. This car exudes performance. Aesthetically, it's the new design language of JAC. And in terms of performance, again, it's the new engine technology of the brand, similar to that of the m and the m -Pow. The latest iteration of GAC Motors' GS3 model combines striking design, spaciousness, intelligent technology, and performance at an accessible price point. Completing its look are 19-inch alloy wheels and a sporty body kit, exclusive to the top-of-the-range GL variant. Meanwhile, the GS3 M Zoom's interior combines its trendy aesthetic with functionality and comfort. Its futuristic design extends to the vehicle's advanced technological features, including dual screens, a multifunction steering wheel, leather seats, and futuristic AC vents. In addition, a sunroof with electric shades offers an airy cabin experience. On top of that, the GS3M Zoom's cabin offers larger storage spaces and compartments. As for tech features, the vehicle supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android phone mirroring. The GS3 M Zoom is powered by a third generation 1.5 turbocharged gasoline direct injection engine paired with a 7 speed wet dual clutch transmission. Here's our car price watch for the all new GS3 M Zoom, which comes in three variants. nearest JC dealership nationwide. We are fast 
gaining strength in terms of number. As mentioned, by July, you will see 15 locations all across the country. The GS3 will now be available for customers to see, test drive, and purchase. It's an exciting product. It's a game changer. Visit your nearest dealership. Thank you. Toyota Motor Philippines has confirmed that it will launch the all-new Toyota Wigo this July with retail sales starting on the 17th of the month. The leading mobility company continues to pursue steps to achieve its goal of producing happiness and creating mobility for all through its best-selling entry hatchback in its new and improved form. The all-new Wigo showcases a bolder exterior and more spacious interior for a stylish and comfortable ride. The all-new Wigo will be available in three variants, the top-of-the-line GCVT priced at 729,000 pesos, the ECVT priced at 684,000 pesos, and the J manual transmission priced at 609,000 pesos. Full features and specifications will be released on TMP's official website, toyota.com.ph. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank Honda Cars Philippines for providing us our test vehicle this week. This is the Honda HRV. Always enjoyable to drive. Uh, it has a very good uh, ground clearance, it is very spacious, it has a very good acceleration, so you enjoy every trip with it. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, it opposes you Ron De Los Reyes. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.